All right, so it's day 34, and we're fixing to go out to breakfast with the parents when we drop my son off at his day program, and I'm going to get a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit again. All right, so as you can see, I did not have the sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. I opted for the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit instead. Uh, I wanted something different. <laughs> <laughs> and it was good uh i would have particularly wanted to skip breakfast this morning i say that every time but uh trapped on someone else's schedule uh kind of you know puts you in a way where you know you have to kind of go along with the flow but like i said my intermittent fasting schedule is in place um so that's a good thing now I want to have a serious talk. <laughs> some people just recently put out uh, some video. And uh, they just so happen to be in the keto community. And they're like, uh, if you're going to call yourself, well, let's see, how do they put it? If you're going to put out there that you're on a diet, then people are definitely going to have opinions. So it's kind of like they're saying, <laughs> if you're claiming that you're on some kind of diet, then people are going to know. Good. I want them to know. And then they go on to talk about, you know, how great keto is and uh how wonderful it is and how it's changed their lives and uh, how they've, uh, you know, accomplished so much doing keto. And uh, then they cut off to a commercial <laughs> that they promote themselves, you know, of some kind of drink powdery mix or some stuff like that. Uh, so. <laughs> okay. I got some things to say about that, you know. I mean, first of all, I've been on keto. I've got a channel out there where I done keto and I lost weight successfully on just the keto part. I am not promoting against keto in any way, shape, form, or fashion. The best diet advice that you can receive is pick something that works for you. Something that you think you're going to be able to stick to. Um, there's literally hundreds of diets out there and they exist for a reason because they all work in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Everybody thinks that their way is the best. I'm not claiming my way is the best. I'm just claiming that my way is just one of many. Uh, <laughs> so then, uh, you know, they go on to say uh, things like uh, after, you know, they get done with their, you know, little advertisement, you know, for their powder drink that they get kickbacks off of. Uh, that... Uh, they want to, you know, diss on folks, you know, says, you know, you can't eat everything in moderation or whatever. I mean, okay. Um, I say yes, you can. You can uh, definitely lose weight by cutting down in moderation. I don't. When I ate that bacon, egg, and cheese this morning, I didn't cut it in half and eat it. I ate the whole thing. <laughs> there was nothing moderate about it. Uh, when I eat the rest of my meals today, I'm going to eat all of them and... There's nothing going to be moderate about it. I'm just doing, you know, doing intermittent fasting. And then that brings me to my next point. They go on to talk about how they're doing OMAD, which is one meal a day. Just because you're eating your one meal a day on keto does not mean that OMAD will work, will not work if you're eating anything else. Uh, here's the thing <clears throat> F 
fasting is the most extreme form of restrictions that you can have on any diet. Okay. For example, I could go on a three day fast right now. And my last weigh in was 309. If I was to go on a three day fast of not eating anything at all, I could probably drive my weight down on purpose <laughs> to under 300 pounds. That's how fasting works. What I'm doing and what you're doing and what a lot of other people out there are doing that are on specific diets, especially when they're out there saying that they're intermittent fasting is they're doing the same thing I'm doing. They're just doing it in a different way. I mean, keto is a powerful form of losing weight. It's also very expensive for the common person like myself. Uh, now, back in 2020, when I started doing it, I was able to afford it because I could buy gas for my truck at a dollar and 72 cent a gallon that same truck now going to the gas station in town costing me right now three dollars and nine cent a gallon so i went from filling my truck up to thirty dollars and just under to fifty dollars a fill up okay that is a problem. Some people can't afford to do those expensive diets, and that's me. And that's the specific audience I am trying to target uh, with my weight loss. And I'm doing it by eating whatever in the hell I want. Uh, and I'm doing intermittent fasting just like you're doing. Now, can I amplify that by cutting uh, moderating calories? Sure. Yeah, I can do that. Can I do it by cutting carbs? Sure. Yes, you can do that. When that's the per that's how cutting down on things work. <laughs> ah, man, I hate I had to go there. But uh, you know, you got to be careful who you listen to out there. Um, Everybody's got a little picture and a little video of times they were overweight and uh, they want to share that and they want to, you know, be proud of their results. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not, you know, hating on anyone out there, but you shouldn't do the same either. Uh, you shouldn't do the same, same uh, either. You know, you should, uh, I mean, come on, it's all about people wanting to lose weight you be supportive no matter what they're doing okay you got it that's how it works you know and if you're out there you know <laughs> promoting products for weight loss uh, <laughs> and you're getting kickbacks from it it really is not a good look for you to uh, diss on anything else it really is not I mean it's uh, unappealing for sure uh, that's all I had to say about that for right now. I probably have more to say about it as the video goes along and the wheels get to turning, but uh, just be careful. Uh, don't be so uh, on your high horse, so to speak. Don't be out there promoting products, you know, for <laughs> weight loss and. Uh, in the same breath uh, say that you're doing the same thing that everybody else is doing when it comes to intermittent fasting you're just doing it with keto I'm doing it with junk food and fast food and uh, it's working right now for me and if something needs to change I'll worry about that when the time comes and you know and if I have to go keto you know to get it done I'll eat crow and say yep I have to finally do it but that'll be a time when I have a better income 
and things aren't so expensive at the grocery store. I cannot afford <sighs> keto. I cannot afford your drink Kool-Aid. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, so, uh, yeah. All right. Now let's move on <laughs> with our day about this uh, intermittent fasting program that I am doing. Let's move on with the latchkey diet. Okay, so I thought about all of this some more, and I do have some more to add. <laughs> I knew I would. Uh, okay, so here's the deal. People say, uh, we went on this and this and such and such a diet, so, uh, you know, because we were addicted to the foods that we were eating. At the same time, they are out there trying to make <laughs> those same type of foods so they can have that uh, feeling of uh, having them in a different way, preparing their meals, you know, in such a way to where it mimics uh, the real thing, you know, like a, a cheeseburger stuffed between two uh, uh, fake waffles. <laughs> uh, and like I say, I am not knocking anyone else's diet if that's what it takes uh, for you to, uh, you know, for you to do you, then uh, I am happy for you. If you're able to stick to that long term, make a lifestyle of it, I'm happy for you. I am. But what if I can do the same thing? eating what I want, whatever I want. I mean, as of right now, I have, I don't know that I have any pre-existing health conditions. Uh, I haven't been diagnosed with any. Uh, I'm 50 years old. Um, what if I could, uh, you know, uh, continue to intermittent fast doing what I'm doing the rest of my life, eating Whoppers at Burger King. What if I could, uh, you know, continue to intermittent fast, you know, and eat uh, some pizza from Pizza Hut? I mean, uh, it's a scenario that I'm not sure of, to be honest with you. But I am exploring the option, and I am going to find out. Uh, this month uh, of intermittent fasting, it has ingrained in me. I am used to it, and uh, honestly, it feels really good. I do not feel full all the time. I feel good. Uh, I had that bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit this morning, and right now, I feel like my stomach is empty, to be honest with you. Uh, I feel like I haven't eaten anything at all right now. So, uh, and, and I'm not ready to go raid the refrigerator either. So, uh, apparently there's been some kind of metabolic change that has taken place within me to be able to feel that way because, uh, I don't snack. Uh, I'm not snacking on anything right now. I, when I do eat something, uh, like some potato chips or something, I eat them with, uh, with whatever meal I'm going to have. I'm not one of those people who uh, can't uh, give up uh, junk food. I can do those things. I can eat, if I chose to, I could eat steak and broccoli every day. I could eat chicken and broccoli every day uh, <laughs> uh, for my, my few meals, you know, and be just fine. But you ever wondered in your head, uh, what if someone could do it? Eating what they want. Uh, just simply, you know, uh, fasting, window, you know, whatever. Uh uh, I also eat, you know, one to two meals a day, just doing it in a way that uh, benefits me uh, and my situation. I'm always on the road. Uh, I can't always, you know, be at home to cook a uh, 
uh, <laughs> a keto Big Mac meatloaf. You know, I can't always do that. <laughs> And at the same time, I can't cook a regular meatloaf and the mashed potatoes and everything with it, you know, and realize that, you know, that's uh, that I'm only going to be able to fill up one plate full of that and eat that. And that's going to be my meal for that day, you know, instead of, you know, filling that plate up with those same things twice. I understand that. I am very well aware of that. <laughs> And uh, my plan is to not do that. I'm going to just have the one meal. One meal equals one plate of food. Um, sometimes I may be able to control the calories and sometimes I may not be able to know exactly how many calories I've taken into my body. But I know uh, controlling calories when I can works because in my youth that's how we've done things. Back in those days, you know, you didn't have uh, a numerical label on everything. Uh, I think even your fast food restaurants like uh, McDonald's and Burger King and, uh, uh, you know, all of those type of restaurants back then, they did not uh, list their nutritional value on their meals. They didn't have to. And uh, it, somehow my sisters. That my older sisters they knew what those things were somehow they knew I mean I don't know I guess maybe the information was out there maybe it wasn't man I'm not sure uh, but I do know that uh, the mom and pop type of restaurants out there the that serve burgers and hot dogs and stuff they didn't keep up with it and there was no way to uh, they would just kind of automatically you know know not to overeat on those type of foods I mean it's called self-control <laughs> no matter how you look at it no matter how you break it down and uh, your way is good but that doesn't mean my way is bad that's what I'm saying and uh, I'm going to keep on keeping on <laughs> and uh, hey you know you I'm proud of you you know uh, you do you I'm doing me you do you uh, and uh, honestly, you know, uh, what's it to you? Oh, right. So uh, after that big long conversation I had today, uh, I think that about does it for today. But I just had to add. My last meal there that you just saw was an awesome, delicious chili cheeseburger with onions, some fries, and a few onion rings, and a thing of slaw. <laughs> and that is how you finish a meal in a day. <laughs> All that was eaten by four o'clock. It is six o'clock now. I've been two hours without food, and uh, by the time I go to sleep tonight, my stomach will feel empty again. Especially after I have my cup of decaf coffee. I'm going to make that right now. You folks have a good one, and we'll see you next time.